So a couple went inside of Joe's Crab Shack to sit down and eat some crabs. And they saw something pretty disturbing. Now, if you guys have no idea what Joe's Crab Shack is, it's a restaurant. And I'm not going to lie. I used to go there all the time with my mother and my sister and stuff. We would go there and eat our crab and, and all that stuff, seafood. Oh, my God. Their food is great. Oh, <laughs> it's so good. This couple sat down to eat, right? And I guess they're looking at the pictures on the table and stuff because that's what Joe's Crab Shack is known for. It's usually like pictures and stuff on the table that are printed out. And and they also give colors and coloring books to kids, you know, for them to sit down and color uh, before they eat and after and all that stuff. So they're known for that kind of stuff. So like I told you guys, they're sitting there, they're looking at the pictures and they come across this one picture. And this picture is dated back to 1895. Now, in this picture, you guys may just see like, you know, a bunch of people gathered or even houses and stuff. Well, this is one of those public events that they had back in the day. And back then, just like they do in other countries now, this is a photo of a public hanging. And the guy that's being hung in this picture, his name is Richard Burleson. He was a freed slave and he's a black man. So the fact that Joe's Crab Shack would have a picture of someone being hung. And we know the American history of hanging, right? We know that it's something that makes a lot of us uncomfortable. Whenever I see pictures like this, it actually makes me upset because I think to myself, how can you be so cruel? But then again, you're in denial that racism still exists. Now I want to correct something. There shouldn't be a photo of any hanging inside of Joe's Crab Shack. And you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, there's no way that this could get even worse, right? There's, there's just no way, Tom. Guess what else this picture says? All I said was, I don't like the gumbo. And I know that may be funny to some of you guys out there, but not only did they have a picture of a group hanging a black guy, but they had this silly tagline that threw a joke on it. This is crazy to me because I've never seen a food chain this large F up this big. Like, this is major. Like, this is major stuff right here. This is like going in McDonald's and they have a picture of, like, some black guy just getting slapped up by a mob. And it's like, dude, I just came here to get a cheeseburger and you're putting this vile stuff in my face. A picture like this in this restaurant makes me think about what it was like for a lot of people back then. It was probably pictures of, of people being hung and, and mobs attacking people. Back then, if you were black and you looked at someone the wrong way or you stared at a white lady because you thought she was beautiful, or even if you didn't do it, she could have said you did it and an angry mob could have grabbed you and just lynched you. It's it's crazy, man. It's crazy how things were back then and how we are now. And uh, it's just it's disgusting. Now, before I go, I want to add this in the story. That was the last public legal hanging in texas so that's how we know the name of the person that was hung and all that stuff and when the time was also joe's crab shack has issued an apology now this is the way i feel whoever approved this picture needs to be fired whether it's the manager someone that's the head decorator that person needs to lose their job pronto because either you're not educated on what you're placing in the restaurant or you just don't give a fuck about people's feelings. <laughs> anyway, this is Thomas Live. I'm out, and you guys have a great day.